David Phillips, the only child of Gerald and Geraldine Phillips, was born on May 10, 1945, and was raised in Woodstock, New Brunswick. He grew up attending the Woodstock Baptist Church, being involved in the choir and youth activities. He came to the United Baptist Bible Training School in 1960, and attended for four years and was involved in student council, yearbook, intramural sports, and music ministry during his time there. While at UBBTS, he met Jean Crawford, who would become his wife. This was a time of growth in his self-confidence, and he developed further in his strong work ethic and leadership skills as he grew in the context of this family of faith. I don't think it was his choice particularly, <laughs> but um, it was important that he went there uh, for the socialization and for uh, camaraderie and, and uh, for the Christian aspect of education. He, he did not have much self-confidence. He was young. <laughs> and um, by the time he left Ubitz, the community that surrounded him, and every one of us uh, felt that at the time, um, it was truly community. He was involved in a lot of things. He, he uh, played all the intramural sports, um, and he also uh, was involved in the choir and in gospel teams. Um, he was a uh, treasurer of the student council. He was um, involved in the yearbook, very involved in student life there. Moving on from UBBTS in 1964, David attended Gordon College and he graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in 1970. Later, he received his Bachelor of Education degree from St. Thomas University. Upon graduation from Gordon, David and Jean, who were married in 1967, settled back in the Moncton area and he took up his first teaching position at Salisbury High School. In 1975, he came to L.B. McNaughton High School, first as a guidance counselor, then serving as a vice principal, and later principal. During this time, he contributed to the growth of technology and trades education. He joined the District 2 board office as a supervisor in 1993, before moving on to Riverview High School as vice principal and Caledonia High School as principal. Toward the end of his career, he moved back to Salisbury High School, now known as JMA High School, to serve as principal, retiring in 2002. David was known as a caring administrator with a strong work ethic. David was not an excellent student. He was a hard-working student, and he, what he what, when he learned something, he had it forever. David Phillips, a man of character. He was very engaged and on a mission, and when he had a task, he set his whole heart and soul to it, and I could depend upon it being done and done properly. He was always pleasant, smiling. He was always engaged in his work, I can recall after having a, a leadership meeting, he would dash out of the office and head to his work. And I was always appreciative of the way he, he uh, supported me and carried out his work in that way. He moved around quite a bit. Um, from what people tell me, he was well liked. Um, he made it, when he was appointed to a school, the first people he went to meet were the janitors. He always felt that the school would be known by its upkeep, and no school could be effective without a good secretary. So to him, the janitors and the secretaries were very important people. David was married to Jean for over 48 years, and they adopted two sons, Matthew, who lives in Riverview with his wife, Misty, graduate of Crandall, 2005, and Tom, and one grandson, Oliver. So a very proud grandfather. 
he never missed an opportunity to tell me how Oliver was doing and show me pictures of this beautiful little grandson of his. I think of him as a dad. I think of him as a husband. I suppose that's how I knew him. I knew him as he and Jean together. I knew him with, you know, seeing him with the boys sometimes around the church or talking about the boys. He was passionate about uh, Jean, his relationship with his wife. He was passionate about his children. He was passionate um, near the end of his life about his grandson, Oliver. Uh, and uh, uh, the relationship that he had with him even as a newborn. It was neat to see Dave uh, as a grandfather and how proud he was of that little boy. David took up many roles at First Baptist Church Moncton, including moderator, sanctuary choir member, and trustee board chair. He was a visionary leader who exercised a kind spirit as he worked with others to advance Christ's kingdom. He and Jean were active participants in the UBBTS 60 to 64 alumni gatherings, and he served nearly 11 years on the Board of Governors at Crandall University, maintaining a keen interest in the university until his death in 2016. He pushed me, he challenged me, he made me a better leader uh, by the questions that he asked and the comments that he made. And, uh, he influenced my life just in the support that he gave in and through the ministries of First Baptist. He was a leader, just everything you'd want to see in a good leader. He was trustworthy, he had integrity, he, he was capable, effective, he, he was easy to work with. We have been particularly blessed to have had the company and the involvement of David Phillips. Our lives have been enhanced, remarkably so. I, I think of him being well trusted by those within the church. He carried a lot of credibility. One who, who was willing to get on board also with new directions. So he wasn't someone you had to work against. He was a great ally to think matters through with, but, but I could also always count on his friendship and his support. Uh, for me as a pastor or for an idea moving forward. I was acquainted with David for many years, but uh, closest relationship was while he served on the Board of Governors when I was president at the university. And uh, I admired him in, in so many ways. He brought to the board uh, the expertise and his background in uh, education and administration, so which was of great value. Uh, to the board and its uh, decision-making. Of course, he had a long history with the university and uh, his own faith and faith perspective. All of these things combined and he was a very uh, effective and good board member. I uh, appreciate it so much that he had such, uh, he was such a source of encouragement uh, to me personally as we uh, walked through the many issues that we were dealing with. Uh, at that particular time. So again, uh, just, uh, just a wonderful person to have on the board at a critical time. Oh, I think one of the things about Dave is that he, he didn't just go there as a student and then forget about the place. He stayed in touch with people. He wanted to stay in contact with people and he continued to be interested in the university, uh, whether it was ABC, ABU or Crandall. And, uh, was on the board for many years and was still on the board right up until uh, just before he died. David was an active member of our board, a very engaged member of our board, right up to the time of his death. And our board grieved his loss. He was a significant presence at our board meetings. And I know as a young president, as a new president, I leaned on him and valued his input and I grieved his loss. It was too early, and we missed him then, and we miss him today. Given to honor alumni for outstanding accomplishments, devoted service, and loyalty to Crandall University, this Distinguished Alumni Award is presented posthumously on this 24th day of September 2021 to Mr. David Phillips. I am so pleased that uh, 
Crandall University is taking this opportunity to honor David's legacy and uh, remembrance and appreciation for his uh, time and work in education and on the board at the Crandall University. I just think it's wonderful that Dave was chosen for this and if he were here and I could say it in person I would offer my heartiest congratulations and say that I felt he was a very worthy recipient of this award. I can remember how pleased I was when I got the email announcing this distinguished award being given to my late friend David Phillips. Appropriately so. I am pleased to see the university taking this action. David was a true leader and thank you Crandall for honoring him in this way and recognizing his contribution uh, to, to Crandall and to the community. Gene, I just want to say both on Wendy's and my behalf also of our CBAC family, but then speaking personally, when I had heard that David was going to be recognized in this way with the Distinguished Alumni Award, I thought how appropriate that his legacy and his impact would be, would be remembered and honored in this way. I'd just like to say to Gene, thank you for allowing us to recognize and to honor David tonight. He made a significant contribution to the university. Thank you for agreeing to allow him the time to serve on the board and to invest in this university. We appreciated all that he did for us, and we are so very grateful. And thank you for the opportunity tonight that we have to say thanks to you, to other members of the family, for allowing him to make the contribution that he did. I would say to the family that uh, David embodies all the criteria that we considered in developing the Distinguished Alumni Award and he is a most worthy recipient, and I'm so pleased uh, that this is taking place tonight. Uh, you have every reason to be proud. And while I don't question the sovereignty of God in all of these matters, uh, I only wish that David could have been here to receive it in person. Anyway, well done, thou good and faithful servant. I think his reaction would have been no, I don't think so. There are just too many people that are, have achieved so much more than I, I. I've never really achieved anything to be honored like that, to be distinguished, not me.